Well, after a little bit of a <laughs> technical issue and a huge bruised ego because of that, took me a second to try and get motivated again. But here I am. If I got something for you, this is something I didn't want you idiots to miss. See, in well under, as of this recording, probably 12 hours, Suplex City will open its doors to the public. And those of you within the fan base already have your little wheels turning. Those starved hamsters finally being fed the nourishment. They need to get those little wheels just spinning. And I know that you want to show that you can do the best interpretation of Pro Wrestling Gorilla or Chikara or one of these cute little indie shows out there that you think has a credible champion and represents your flea-ridden town the best. Then you have those who are mm -hmm, too smart for that, going to show us how to do a proper Lucha Underground or a WCPW. And that's all well and good. I mean, I'm honestly starting to believe that if it hadn't been for this concept, Shinsuke Nakamura might not be where he is today. I mean, really think about that. I mean, sure, I'm sure they have very talented scouts, very determined to keep a nice international flavor. And I'm sure that a certain Levesque has his finger on the pulse. He'd have to. He's in the business. But, if it wasn't for things, I can't believe I'm going to say this, if it wasn't for Twitter, guys like AJ Styles, Nakamura, Cesaro, Gargano, the list just goes on, would not be where they are. But another thing was character creation. Especially with its online capabilities and specialized skins now. I mean, come on, people. For once, you actually did something right. And I don't want to see any more of it. I'm not saying you're not good at it. I'm just saying, why don't you open up a bit. Why don't you show some real creativity? Why don't you do what I'd like to call the Big Ten alternate universes to introduce to WWE 2K17. Starting off with number 10. Because controversy is what gets us where we are today. And who's more controversial than Tim Burton? Oh, oh, okay, all right, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's pretty controversial. I mean, obviously. Uh, that, that, that was a few years ago, and I think the memes are pretty much dead. But why do I have to bring him into this? He hasn't done anything stupid this week. But honestly... Having an awesome, you know, Money in the Bank ladder match in which you can now actually cash in if you win. But just picture Jack Skellington, Oogie Boogie, the Centipede, the Grasshopper, the Little General, and James scrambling to get a hold of that briefcase. Or maybe the Corpse Bride and Sally are competing to be the number one contender for the women's title so that they can face Ms. Ladybug. I mean, this is some pretty interesting concepts here, and I, I know it's way beyond your concept and grasp to try something bold and new, because you probably play Madden too, you fucking neckbeards. But honestly, what did they say in that Tick cartoon? Read a book. Or maybe, you should try my number nine 
choice anyway. Literary creators and their children. I mean children, air quotes. Picture this. The music starts up. Mary Shelley comes down to the ring being flanked by Victor Frankenstein and his creation. To which the audience chimes along when Victor tells them exactly how tall that beast is with a you can't teach that. So they get in the ring, they're getting psyched up, the camera suddenly goes <laughs> and on the Titan Tron Mark Twain's sitting there with Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn to which he responds we're here and begin to approach the ring like the Wyatt family I know that might be a tad niche but some of you have in the past come up with some more unique stuff and I can't fault you for that because every now and again I would try something like that too when I did it, it looked pretty good too and as cartoony as this idea might be why not actually get your Saturday morning on proper like with my number eight choice Cartoon Network Generations versus Johnny Bravo, Dexter, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and Chowder, locked in the Elimination Chamber. Maybe the Powerpuff Girls have to face off against the Kanker Sisters. Maybe Finn has to finally bury the hatchet with Jack, Samurai Jack, and go for the gold because that's what it's all about. They put Jake on the shelf. He wants his revenge. And Jack's the only guy with any honor he can trust. Think about that one. You got plenty to work with there, people. And speaking of over-the-top personalities, unique costuming, and crazy hairdos, why not number <laughs> six? RuPaul's Drag Race. What? What? It would be hilarious. And technically, RuPaul does qualify as a wrestling promoter. If all it takes is one show, I know plenty of schmucks that can count as promoters. It doesn't even have to be successful. Maybe Cynthia Fontaine has to face off against Sharon Needles as the last two in an over-the-top battle royale. Personally, my money would be on Cynthia because she's local and you got to root for the home team. But I am a sucker for the underdog. And I'm always down for a wacky personality that kind of fights the norms. But hey, that's what this is all about, isn't it? You never know if that clown's going to win or not. Speaking of clowns, this next choice was a huge toss-up. Originally, I contemplated doing Saturday Night Live sketch characters. There were plenty of them. I mean, Matt Foley going for the hardcore title because he just needs to be motivated! And then I thought maybe the TGIF lineup of the 90s. You know, Perfect Strangers, Boy Meets World, Teen Angel, Family Matters. A lot of gold to pick out of that. I mean, Carl Winslow getting pounded. Going in for the tag. Urkel's right there, Urkel's right there, and then he hops off the apron. 
It was a betrayal. It was a betrayal all along. It was him, Winslow! But no. I chose instead to go with the entire NBC sitcom lineup. There were some great shows. Totally mix and match, and honestly, wouldn't it just be gold to see B. Arthur choke a bitch while the other three golden girls are at ringside cheering her on, making sure no one interferes? I mean, they owned TV for a while. But... Who cares about girl power, right? Yeah. I guess if you're into my next choice, fangirl anime. This one really could shake up the system a little bit. Throw some chum in the water and just watch those little piranhas go nuts, right? Black Butler... Free, the host club, so many choices there to work with. And I mean, you don't have to necessarily say it's a shoujo or shonen, shonen, shoujo, shoujo type of thing. It could be shows that gained a heavy female following. You know, throw in some Naruto, some Yu Yu Hakusho. Hell, Gundam Wing was actually supposed to be marketed to girls more than boys. Okay. Just make sure they all have really big creepy eyes when you do this one. And also, I mean, your winner and one hell of a butler, Sebastian! I mean, just imagine that for a few moments. It'd be great. But from one obscure fan base to the next, Comics have been used a lot as inspiration for character creation over the years. Spider-Man's a go-to. So is Batman, Hulk. Enough said. Paint Brock Lesnar green. But what about the 2000 AD line? Oh yeah. One of the strangest and greatest collections of sci-fi, well more UK infused sci-fi, but sci-fi nonetheless. You got your champion, some sniveling shit heel, borderline cowardice, claiming that God himself is the only one that's going to be able to pry that belt from his hands, when suddenly the law appears, and he's had just about enough of that bullshit. He's taken it upon himself and found you guilty. How do you plead? He knew you'd say that. And then comes down to the ring and gives him a proper trashing. <laughs> I think that'd be great. I mean, you'd have to get kind of creative now in trying to get everything to work. But I'm sure someone out there probably has the skills. Probably. But what about an actual rivalry within the universe? One solid group against the other. And you know for a fact you could get some gold out of this. What about the cast of Moonbeam City versus Metalocalypse? Dazzle Novak versus Nathan Explosion. Squizgar Squizelf versus Rad Cunningham. And the women, forget about it. Pizzazz would own the ring in a matter of hours. And just the visual uniqueness. One, very classic metal covers. The other, the embodiment of the 80s especially within the pop and synth world. For once, I would actually like to see that much teal and pink in a ring. 
Yeah, more than my other choice earlier. Definitely. But if you want to talk unique design choices, why don't we go with something a little more appropriate? You know, something computer animated. Why not the Pixar universe? Buzz and Woody reuniting their friendship, going for the gold. Because you've got a tag team partner in me. Maybe the human incarnation of Lightning McQueen goes for the cruiserweight title. Because, you know, ka -chow. Maybe Nemo and his dad buddy up and take everyone out in the Royal Rumble to leave it to just them. And the Survivor Series ideas, you got plenty to work with, people. But there's one. And there can be only one at the top of this mountain. What better way to get your clicks? What better way to get that like button hit? What better way than celebrity cameos? And what I mean by that is the ultimate battle of the internet. Let's players versus game critics. YouTube lets players and game critics at that. Yeah, in one corner, Markiplier and PewDiePie unite to take down the dueling egos of Zero Punctuation's Yahtzee and Jim fucking Sterling, son! Maybe the Grumps finally are gonna air out their dirty laundry. Will Dan Avedon truly prove that he is not the weak link? Or will Aaron Hansen survive once again? He nearly killed John Tron. What makes you think he won't do it again? I mean, that right there, people. You got plenty to work with. Plenty! I've given you more than enough. The keys to the kingdom are now officially yours. That's my list. Go! Flee! Try to impress me. I dare you. Heck, it doesn't even have to be pro 